What's up guys, this is JessMan32, and we are going to do a LEGO Star Wars ATPT Podwalker review. This ATPT Podwalker is number 75043, and it, ha and it has 717 pieces. It is allowed for only 8, 8 through 14 and up, so uh, basically I got this set like a couple days ago, so... Yeah, for, uh, so here's the box right here. It shows everything that you can possibly think of what it, this should be. That's just the front cover. I'll show the uh, I'll show the rest of it in a minute. But right now, let's just check the figures. All right, so I have this little standing thing. This is my first review of anything. So let's go to the first character, which is Commander Green. Uh, Clone Commander Green. It's what it says on the thing. So, uh, basically, Clone Commander Green is, has a regular blaster, not, not, not the new ones, just the regular blaster, because if you don't know what the new ones are, I'll show you in a minute. And then he has binoculars, too. Uh, here's his front part. Let me just see if I can get him. There's, oh, sorry, guys. I'm very sorry. Alright. There's the front part. If you can't see it, I'm very sorry. It's probably really dark. There he is. Alright. There's the side. There's the back. There's the side again. And there's the front. He all he has a regular clone trooper helmet like face, like the regular ones. See. Not not the ones like the clone wars, but like the one since before. And uh he has a really tight helmet. It's a silver helmet. Let's see if I can get a better view of him. Yeah, there he is. All right. Well, he's pretty tight. He's my favorite. He's one of my new uh, commanders. So he's done now. Let me just put him back over here. This next guy, I don't know what his name is. Is Chief Chief Tarful? It's on the it's on the box. He has one of these little old pirate guns. And he is pretty cool. He's like he's like Chewbacca because I have Chewbacca over on the turbo tank. If you can't see, it's right over there. Let me grab him. Uh, he looks a lot different from Chewbacca. He's a little darker, and he has more th details on him. Chewbacca right here don't, barely has anything here. Let me put him over there. All right. Here's the. Let me just take this gun off because I right know this is blocking some of the view. So here's the front part. The side. The back. The other side. Uh -huh. yeah, tell her. And this. Uh, basically, he his body is this. This is his one little head thing, and he does, he's just a brown body. Let me just put it back. Oh, come on. Okay, so I just throw him and put him over here now. Oh, come on, these are hard to get on here. All right, next guy. I think you guys know this guy a bit. The super, uh, the super Lego, super Battle droid. He's pretty cool. He's he's one of my favorites. So I just put him on the thing. I think you guys already seen him, so I don't want really to have to show the back. Like I'd be quick about it. See. And nothing really special about him. He's just a regular Super Battle Droid. This guy's pretty cool. He is the Battle Droid Commander. If you see, he has a yellow on him. I'll put him on the thing. Sorry, because if, if I'm a little clunky with my handy and I'm looking through the camera, so... There he is. He has a regular blaster. All the special about him is his chest and his head. Everything else is regular. So... There's nothing special about him. So... Ah, come on. He's stuck on there for a second. Alright, let me just put him back. Come on, hurry up. It's kind of hard because, uh, your battle droids break easy. Alright, and then the regular battle droid, we don't need to put him up. He's just a regular battle droid. Alright, so that's all the characters for here. And now let's get to the box. So we're just gonna move these guys over here. There's the ATPT pod walker. I'll just move that a little bit over here. And now let's grab this. Ah. 
Alright, so the box on the front cover has almost the whole picture of what it should be. Darth Vader up there. Episode 3. It has a new, new spring-loaded shooter. I think it's in a couple other sets, I know. It's in, like, it's in a couple other sets. I know it. And, uh, there's a little guys. Alright, let's go in the back now. Alright. The back, you could do a lot of stuff, like, you can... It shows you what it does. There he is. And then there's there's no there's no other sets that shows on here. There's just more things that the thing can do. All right, so that's enough of the box. Oh wait, yeah, wait, we have to start at the top. And the top. Well, the top has nothing on it, actually. So never mind. The other sides are too same. No. Lego clubs on the bottom. Let's just put that down there. Oh wait, no, let's just put it back. Ow! It hurt. Alright, now for the last thing, let's get to the ATPT pod locker. So this thing is just like, it looks exactly like the original one, except it has just a little bit of different things. As you see, I did put some parts new to it, like nothing much, just this little Republic thing right here. I put that there because I know these are Republic signs too, but I just decided to put a regular one there. So, first off, let's look inside of the thing. You can open it from the sides, right here. On both sides, you can open right here, and over here. And if you just, and those are kind of hard to get them in there, so you can just open from the top. It's easier, you know, and, but if you want to do stop motion, if you want them to peek out of here, then it's still a cool thing. It works. Here's the inside. It comes with the chair right there chair, everything else, and a little thing, right here, I'll show you, direct the camera, you can even see it, oh yeah, you can't even see it, sorry, there it is, it's a little commanding thing, so, so, sorry, it's shaking a lot, um, so that's inside of it, nothing really much, just two seats, you could probably fit another trooper on this side, like, like right, 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 right here, but, Nothing really much, so I'll just close it up. You cannot move this right here. You can move this. It goes in a 360 diagonal thing. And uh, you can move it down, though, down and up. So, and this is where you can fit the trooper. And the new spring-loaded uh, thing right there. It's really cool. I had a question what that was when I first saw it. Then right here, I think this is supposed to be like a steady aim thing. You just like connect it right here. It makes it steady as crap. There. And you can't move it at all, which is pretty weird why they would add that. You can't even move it down, so it's useless. It's, it's better if you did it, but it wasn't there, but um, it's still cool anyways. And uh, now let's test now. Well, and now let's test something later, but right now let's just move this stuff right here. Over there. Alright, the next thing is that the, the legs, they can move, but they're like, they're like, one of those things where it goes click, 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 something like that. And it has a third leg, if you can see right there. We just enable it. It's supposed to be like, like a targeting mode where you can stand still and get a better aim. It's pretty cool. It's kind of hard trying to get back up there and staying up there, because if you move it around too much, it will just fall down by itself. <sighs> like, watch, if I just move it around a bit like this, it falls down. So, there. Um, that's, there's a lot, there's a couple more things you could do here, but I haven't fully, ex oh yeah, there's this thing right here. It goes in a 360 diagonal thing. No, well, 360, but then... Or 180, whatever. You can move it as much as you want, up and down, all around. <laughs> and then let's do a little, let's do a little something here. All right. So let me see here. Now let's just go in standing mode. Now let's go down here. And let's just aim it right there, right there. Alright, well, let's see something here. If you press down on this, it'll shoot, so let's see if I can get him. Oh, completely missed. Whatever. Now you know how, like, it works, though, and it takes him out really cool. I lost the thing, I think. Oh, 
I got him. All right. Well, it's pretty. It's pretty easy to put it in. You could just slide it right in. There. And if you see, uh, if you have extra figures like these guys right here, you can fit them in pretty easily. Like this guy right here. It came in a battle pack. I'll review later. And you can just fit almost everyone. In the original ITPT, it had um, it had these old red troopers. I'm just gonna wipe off his hand. But they had white legs instead of black ones. So you can easily just try to. If I just put this right here, it looks like I have the original one. I actually just shot the other one again. There. It looks like the original one since it has the guy on there. I got this guy from the battle pack. Well, guys, that's about it for this for this review video. I hope you like it. It I I definitely I definitely call it a good really good set. So you should get it. It's about seventy dollars at the store and online. It's probably worth more. I do not know. But I hope you guys have a good day and peace.